This is how to install a Audi carbon fiber steering wheel. Uh, this is the original wheel, obviously, and it is a four post wheel, and I'm gonna be replacing it with a carbon fiber four post wheel. It's kind of hard to find any information about the four post wheels. Most people have three posts. Most of the carbon fiber ones out there are three post, but this one's gonna be about the four post. There's no videos about it, so I figured I'd share with you how to do it. So to get this steering wheel off, you have to turn the wheel just like that. So in here, you will see that there is a small hole with a little bar. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put the pick in and pry down on that metal tab. And at the same time, you're going to pull on the airbag and then you're gonna turn the steering wheel all the way to this side and you're gonna do the same thing and you're gonna pull the steering wheel out. Let's pull this whole airbag out. And you have to leave the battery connected to take this out because you have to turn the wheel in this car. It's kind of hard to turn the wheel without it running. So leave the battery uh, connected for that. But before you disconnect the wires, make sure you disconnect the battery. All right, so once you pull down on it, it should pop out just like that. So the front side of the bag is out, and the side, one side's out, so you're gonna flip it around to the other side, feel for that spring, and it will release. Now you can put it back straight. And at this point, you need to disconnect your battery. All right, so to disconnect the battery, you gotta pull your spare tire out. It's just this cap here, which on twists, you take that out. I got some shit in here. And then you just have to lift your spare out and then you can get access to the battery. So once you have the spare out, pull this foam piece off. So now that you have access to your battery, you're gonna wanna get a 10 millimeter and pull this negative terminal off and just swing it to the side, that way the car has no power. And once it's disconnected, you can continue with the steering wheel and you won't have any issues with the airbags because there'll be no power in the car. All right, so once you have it to this point, there is a green connector up here that one right there, or a green lock up here. You're gonna pull that out, push down on it and pull back. And that lets this come free. And then in here, in this bottom corner down here, there's another connector which has to come out. So you can pull this one out. You just push in on this, just push in on this and pull back at the same time. That'll separate and now you're airbag, horn cover to thing, whatever. Set that to the side. So now we gotta work on getting this whole outer ring out. It just looks like there's all like clips that hold it in. So we're gonna try and work it out with, I got some plastic clip tools, the picks, and we're just gonna separate all of this, these and these. So the steering wheel is just bare. So I'm gonna start down here. I'm gonna pull this, pull this up. So you want to just keep working these pieces nice and carefully. You don't want to force anything because all it holds this together is clips. So if you break one, it's not going to be good. This side's almost out. Nice. So got all these out. And then you got some wires that come in the back here. So next you wanna work on getting these out. Usually these wouldn't look like carbon fiber. These are just something I added to the steering wheel. So you don't wanna get behind it with a clip tool. Just nice, gently kind of work it away from the steering wheel. And that's it. So we got this piece out, we'll do the, get the other one out. Now to take the center bolt out, it is a T55 and you just gotta use like a ratchet wrench, kind of hold the wheel and crack it loose. And once you get that out, there are two markings on the steering wheel. Kind of see them, there's two little cuts, one here, one here. You have to line them up to make sure your wheel is straight. So now, we're gonna take the wheel off, comes right off. And 
you want to make sure you do not spin your clock spring. Leave it right where it is, because if it spins and you put it back the wrong way, you'll definitely break that. So we have the paddle shifters here, and obviously these are what we're replacing it with, the aluminum um, Eurus style paddle shifters. So there is other videos online on how to do these. There's just not one with this style paddle shifter. And I honestly didn't see any better way of getting this out besides drilling like a very, very small hole at an angle. So I drilled it like this into the paddle shifter so I could wiggle a little pick down there and push the pin out. Um, that worked good for me. And given that it's at an angle, the pin can't fall out the opposite way. So once you have the hole drilled, you just take the pick and kind of just wiggle it around until the pin starts to show on the top here. And then you just take a pair of needle nose, get a good grip on it, pull it out. And then the paddle will simply just separate. You just have to wiggle it around. So once you get it to like this point, you kind of just got to pull it at a little bit of an angle and pop it over this little tab here. And you see what kind of locks it in right there. And then we can grab our other paddle now. I'm gonna do the inverse. We're gonna try to clip it in this bottom part first. Might be a little bit tricky. But once you get that in, just goes in and make sure the one you take off is the one you put on. So this is the downshift side. Make sure you have the right paddle. So once it's back in, you take your pin. And when you put it back in, if you look, one side of this pin is slightly bigger than the rest of the pin and one side is slightly thinner. The slightly thinner side goes in first with the slightly bigger side being on top. You know, wiggle it around till it goes in. So now it's all the way in. Paddle's all finished and we're gonna do the other one. So once you get the new wheel on, you just wanna thread your bolt in, make sure you thread it in by hand. All tightened up all put together so now we're going to start reassembling all the parts so to clip these back in you just got to line up the original holes and just kind of push pressure evenly around it and that'll pop it right into place and that one's good to go so you just want to kind of work this in on each side of it nice and evenly so not one side's going in before the other Make sure all your pins are lined up. All right, so now that whole part is in and we just got to finish up with doing, plugging this back in and this back in with the airbag and that's it. So wanna make sure you plug this back in. It's your power for all the buttons. Tuck that back where it was originally. And then you got your airbag connector, which plugs in up top and you want to make sure you lock that green connector and then just line your bag back up and once you clip that in that's it it's all put together looks very nice and now you can reconnect your battery make sure everything works and you are good to go